I'm with Andrew Lincoln from The Walking Dead. Welcome. Thank you. Pleasure to have you here. Oh, it's great to be here. So I saw the trailer for the new season, and I, I was just blown away, first of all, by how long it was um, and by how intense it was. It, it looks like you already finished the season. Yeah, I mean, I, d I, don't, I don't watch the show and I don't watch trailers, but people told me and outlined what they'd shot and what, what's in it. And, and yeah, they've done a very, very smart thing in giving the tone, the tension, introducing new characters, but actually not really giving too much away plot-wise. How far into the new season are you, roughly? Uh, I'm not allowed to go, yeah, roughly is a good word. I'm not allowed to be sp ever specific at yeah. Comic-Con. But uh, we're, we're pretty much through five, six episodes. So a third, I would say a third of the way through. All right. Something came up in the panel yesterday that has crossed my mind, too, and uh, it's the possibility of a Rick and Michonne romance. Yeah. Um, and I think that for my- It was my all about romance last, yesterday, wasn't it? Everybody just <laughs> Everybody wanted, wants every everybody to hook up. Yeah. They're like, all right, we're done with the zombies. Let's all get together. There was just something really kind of beautiful that emerged in the episode last season when you went on the road trip with yeah. her and Carl that I think struck me and maybe struck a lot of other people. Um, just talk to me about that dynam dynamic and maybe how it'll evolve in the new season. Yeah, I think it's it, it's been, an, an interesting challenge for the writers to, to with such an iconic uh, figure from the comic book to integrate into this very raw, um, earthy, sort of grungy group of characters from the show. And I think that they've done a magnificent jo job to date. But certainly that episode last season with Rick and Michonne, for me, is, and also the relationship with Carl, I thought you learned so much. There was so much breathing space in that episode. And it was really compelling. And yeah, certainly it was one of the first times that I think Rick had even attempted to crack a joke in three years. Everyone was on set going, what's Rick doing? He's trying to make a joke, you know, is he flirting, you know? So uh, rest assured that that is, is being mined much more. I think there is a deep connection between these two people, but I'm not sure whether or not it's a, a recognition that they're very similar types. You know, these are people that find it very, very difficult to trust other people. Um, and, and they're loners, I think, fundamentally. Rick is a loner. That's why he identifies with Daryl so much. And I think, that, I think that they recognize each other and they respect each other in the same way that Daryl, Dixon, and Rick do. But yeah, I mean, never say never. There's always potential. Might Michonne become a, a positive influence, more of a po positive influence on Carl, who seems to be a budding sociopath? It, that is true. I think, I think what you find this season, we meet Rick in a completely new place. And I think he is, I think the death of Andrea uh, combined with uh, his son turning into a sociopath uh, and murdering other children um, really wakes him up to his parenting duties. I think there's no better wake up call than that, those two things. Uh, and you meet a man who is trying to reclaim uh, or return to the old Rick. Um, he's renounced the, the brutality or trying to control the brutality that is always within him. Uh, and he's sort of sat back a little bit in the leadership role for the sake of his, his son, fundamentally, and also his daughter. As an actor, do you feel any sense of survivor's guilt when you see your co-stars dropping one by one? I just, it, it, no one is uh, immune from uh, the fear of uh, losing limbs or indeed their lives in this show. There probably will be some invented post-traumatic, you know, abandonment order from this show because it is the most appalling uh, loss, you know, not only as friends and people that have been through this show for years and suffered in the heat and been bitten by ticks with you, but also you lose the relationship. You really, losing um, Sarah last year was a huge blow, not only outside of the job, but the fact that I, I never get to say or have that relationship with anybody else again. And perhaps that's why the so many of the fan questions were about a relationship because he's taken so, mu so much pain, this guy, that they want to see him re regenerate and rebuild and start again. And a great way of doing that is 
through love, I suppose. Do you almost find yourself reluctant to get close to anyone on the set because they're going to be taken away from you? You can't help but get close to people on this set. It's just one of those jobs. I mean, I think the nature of the job is the fact that you've got all these characters surviving together. And, and also, we're away from this. We're in the middle of the woods in Atlanta in the south. Uh, we, we exist in this bubble, which I think really, really helps the show. And the crew that we have have been on it for four years. Uh, they are rooting for you to give the best performance you've... I've never been on a set like that. They just want, because they have the same love of, uh, of telling this story as, as we all do, and, and they want to honor the fan base. So when you get new people on set, you want to kind of say, join the party, come join the family, you know. It doesn't stop you from uh, being open to relationships. That's half the, f that's more than half uh, the job for me as an actor is that you get to know people. You get to pretend to be in, in situations you never would exist in in real life. And, that, and if people come with you, it takes a big risk, a big leap of faith. So much of acting is, being unafraid to look ridiculous. And um, fortunately, we have a lot of people on this cast that are willing to, Norman Reedus, mainly, and myself, and Stephen Yeo, who are quite happy looking ridiculous. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. It's a pleasure. Thanks Appreciate for having us. Uh, hi, I'm Adam Pally. And I'm Gillian Jacobs. And subscribe to ENTV. For all your entertainment news first.